Um, welcome to episode four of my, I mean, ep episode five, my bad. Um, I'm already making mistakes, episode five. Um, but last we left off at Black Gulch, but I don't think I'm ready to face that boss quite yet, so I'm going to go ahead and head to a different area. Now, you'll have to either pay 2,000 souls, or you'll have to get this item to move this rotunda around. Then it opens up another path. Um, yeah. Well, uh, this is gonna be a hated area because this is po uh, got poison as a main thing is poison it's an annoying thing about this part is poison 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 <sighs> now I don't care what Dark Souls game it is poison sucks I don't know who you are but believe me be the frailty of the weak disrupts the dark Leave me alone. I'm interested in one thing, dog, and you haven't the gift. Leave me I'm I I don't know if these guys ever actually get back up and start hitting at you, but I, I would just... Ooh, life can. I'll take that. Yeah. He's doing nice, punks. It's your weakness. Ranged weapons. Oh, that's right. I can use the uh, I can use the bow because I have a. Uh, no, that no, actually I can't. <laughs> wow, that's sad. Can't even use the short bow. All right, I'm killing these things before I hop down there. Knife. Knife. Okay, forget it. Poop. This guy's easy to freaking fight because he's just such a small area. At least he's easy to kill. Um, was a moss. Yeah, he drops a large tiny night charge too. That's pretty good. Yeah, the butterflies drop poison moss, so I guess it kind of makes sense. You know, the poison enemy drops stuff that gets rid of poison. Too bad I can't use that. Sadness. Open up the door, come on, open up the door, open up the door, open up the door. Oh, eh, forget it. I ain't going all the way back for that. Yeah, I might off screen. Who knows? It's probably not worth it. There's so much damage. Going up. Jeez. Oh, 
Glad that club has not a good hitbox. Done. Cut it on me. Run through here. I'm not sure why you can really break these off. Doesn't really do that very much. I mean, I guess it lets them light in here so you can see. Yeah, nice try, punk. I knew you were trying to break open the door. Yeah, it's Just to let you like torches anywhere, pretty much. Shortcut, even though it's kind of a useless shortcut. <sighs> I think I'm just probably gonna run. I'm just not even gonna fight these guys, I'm probably just gonna run. Just run. Just keep running. It's not worth fighting them. It's just a waste of resources. Unfortunately. frames the yeah, frames Flasks. Here we come. But first, I gotta run and get this bonfire because if I don't, it's gonna be problems. Lots and lots of problems. Across the bridge. Past the teeth, past the gum. Look how stomach here. But I just don't want my weapon to be break. Oh, that was close. Yeah, to get this bonfire, you actually have to get um, a special key, and it's up here on this stupid cliff. And I'll probably get invaded. Yep, there, there she is. Yeah, despite her having a long range sight, she's actually not that bad of an invader. She's actually pretty easy to fight. 
because she seems like she's really slow. Now, of course, she's healing. NPCs do that. And then attack. Is that wind up animation. And. Oh, come on. Eat my throwing knife. Of course, she healed again. Boom. And she dropped nothing, because of course she did. I just wanted to kill that butterfly, it's annoying. He's scary, man. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. I am Creighton of Mira. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way, but he was no more than a backstabbing knave. He took the first chance he had to try and offer me. I just, I can't. You be. Oh. The weird thing is, is, this guy actually seems like he'd be the less trustworthy out of the two because there's a guy called Kale, but he's not alive in my game anymore because I needed the helmet. <laughs> uh, but he mentioned that he saw a guy who looked like. Um, a prisoner from Mira, and the funny thing was, is he said he used to be at night of Mira, but now he's not. So he says he's from Mira, and he comes he comes to land to land to hone his blade. But what he means is he's running away from the law. What else could he possibly mean? And I went down the wrong bridge. Went down the wrong bridge. Went down the wrong bridge. I don't know why that one little cove is just so hard to find for some reason. Do 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 do, and this is where you gotta run because you cannot fight all these guys no matter what you try. You cannot fight all these, these punks. Scoot off to boot. Good, it fell off. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I see how it's gonna be. disappears if you don't get rid of him. He'll show up later. I promise you that he'll show up later. As much as you might not want him to. And then roll off. I don't care about those guys. And I'm just gonna run again. Run, 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 run. Nothing but run. Only run. Do not fight. Only run. I could try killing the red phantom, because then if you do, he doesn't respawn, but honestly, I don't really bother myself with it. Just 
bro. I don't want to bother fighting. This is just so annoying. Fight. The thing about some of them is they're so dumb because they just fall off. I don't know why they do. Come on, get in the door. Get in the door. Get in the door. Get in the door. Be free, my master. <laughs> sucks a lot and I can barely deal with it like for real cuz it's such a long run to it and it just you just have to keep running at it like till you beat it and that's the sad thing about it it's such a long run and it's annoying so okay the game's not perfect it's got problems but you know this is the, the one boss fight I think out of all of them that is the most annoying just because it's it's a cool boss fight but on soul level one it's definitely a very annoying boss fight because lots of enemies uh, and you have to kill the necromancers so that the skeletons don't respawn and it's hard to do that when you have to also think about uh, the giant executioner chariot running around in a giant circle coming after you like non-stop Back off. Shoo, back off. That's right, back off. You got knives. I'm not gonna back off and leave, is he? Just trying to kill the dang horse. I really just want to get rid of that stupid horse. Because if I get rid of him now, it means I don't have to come back and deal with him later. Since it doesn't matter anyways, I'm probably just going to go ahead and put on the best armor that I can wear. I don't care if it slows my speed or whatever, I kind of just need the armor protection right now. Because I can't really do anything anyway, so I kind of just need the armor protection from it anyways. Since I ain't got 
peasant gloves or anything else that raises adaptability, so I just kind of need whatever protection that I can get, because honestly, that's the only way I'm going to get through this. I'm just going to have to tank it, or try to tank, tank it as much as you can tank it on a slow level 1 run. Try tanking on a slow level 1 run. But like I said, I just kind of need the bulk at this point. I don't... It's not doing me any good just to keep running back and forth, dying, 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 dying. Get through the door. And here comes the executioner chariot. killed by these stinging skeletons or I'm going to be upset. Run away. I have activated my trap card.
There we go, that's what we want. Okay, I'm running. Oh. I could've got him. Could've got him right at that moment. Ah. Are you not entertained? And now the good thing is, is I don't have to deal with this boss fight again. These fading souls ain't really worth it. They only get a 50. Requinesce de pace. advantages so that I don't have to deal with that ever again. I don't really know what the purpose of this bonfire is. It just kind of serves no purpose and just stands here. Since we have time, I'm going to try to go do the other boss fight that's in this area. I've got the time. Vestus flasks, I got those. I got those to work with. If anything else to work. Yeah, I'm gonna use the knife on these guys just because it means that I can have a shield up, so it does it means I'm taking less damage. I'm not wasting my already minimal resources that I have. switch back to having more just balanced armor. Alright. Back to having this set up. I look like I belong in a Syrian war right now. Well, not a Syrian war. Uh, Ah oh, man, I'm thinking of Persia, I, I think, or something along those lines. Persian Empire, or something like that. Yeah, this is really the boss to knock off the list, so I guess we'll go ahead and do this. I present to you the skeleton lords. Skeleton lords. They're super easy, actually. Basically, when you kill one, it spawns a bunch of skeletons. That, that's the big twist for this boss fight. I mean, the oh jeez. The first time around you fight this boss fight, it might surprise you and just scare the crap out of you though when they start spawning because you didn't expect it, but I mean other than that, 
There's not a whole lot to the boss fight. The skeleton mobs ain't too powerful at least. But I would say the skeleton ones do pretty decent damage to you when you're at soul level 1, so... I mean, I mean that's probably the main problem with this boss fight. Ugh. That, that fireball gets me every time. I just get too greedy. Okay. I hope this isn't the one that spawns the bone wheels, because that sucks. Okay, doesn't look like it. I'd like to know what kind of fireball they're using. Ugh. They got rapiers. Come on. Kill this piece of garbage before it spawns in. Booyah. Thank you. I think this is where I'm going to leave off for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.